I've used a bunch of useless screen recording software so that you don't have to. Here are some good screen recorders that should work on your Chromebook. As with anything, you've got a lot of options when it comes to Chrome OS, from Chrome extensions to Android apps to Linux software. But things will be relatively simple in this video because I couldn't actually get any Android or Linux screen recorders to work properly. The Android apps I tried work well on my phone but don't seem to have the necessary system access to do their jobs on Chrome OS. They're not great though, so no big loss. What is unfortunate is Linux apps not working. Crostini continues to evolve on Chrome OS and everything continues to get better, but at this stage, I couldn't get OBS Studio or Simple Screen Recorder to work. I captured my cursor all right, yay me. So it's easy to imagine these working in the near future, but they're not just yet. So that leaves us with Chrome apps, and there are some pretty good ones. Let's start with the free options. Loom is a pretty great, no fuss Chrome extension. It can capture relatively good 720 P recordings, runs fairly well, allows for a webcam overlay. You can upgrade to their pro plan at about $10 a month for some very basic editing features. I wouldn't recommend it at the moment. Most of their pro plan stuff is currently for Windows and Mac. But if you want a decent screen recorder on your Chromebook for free, Loom's my bae. Up next, Hippo. It's really very similar to Loom in a lot of ways. However, their Chrome extension will let you record a crisp 1080p image, a little more pretty than what Loom can manage. With all of this turned on, my Chromebook started struggling to cope, and as you can see, we've got some screen flickering here. I don't think that's a big deal though. You may just have to tweak the settings up or down as you go, if you notice these issues. Maybe don't bump all the settings to maximum like I did. I find Hippo's desire to get money out of you a little more intense than Loom. They throw a lot of premium features in your face, including some decent looking editing options. I haven't tried those yet myself. This video is about screen recording. Next, we've got Screencastify. If you're willing to spend a bit of money and just want a nice, no fuss option, then Screencastify is probably the way to go. It technically has a free version, but that comes with a watermark, and nobody wants that. But if you pay the $24 a year they ask for, you'll get a really reliable and easy to use screen recorder. But it doesn't look like Screencastify can do full high definition like Hippo can. Hippo is still the winner for maximum quality. Almost finally, we video. If you've watched my videos before, then first of all, gosh shucks, thank you. But also you might've heard me talk about we video before, a cloud-based video editor that pairs well with Chromebooks. Well, we video also comes with a nice little Chrome extension for screen record. Unfortunately, it's not free. You've got to be a paid Wii Video user to get access. It captures decent but not amazing quality recordings, roughly on par with Loom and Screencastify. Wii Video cannot record your internal audio. It cannot capture your webcam at the same time as your screen. You've got to do them separately here. Yeah? Those limitations aside, it's a solid, straightforward screen recorder that, of course, allows you to easily import your recordings into the Wii Video interface for editing. Finally, there's a slightly different option. You you might be interested in. If you have a PC or Mac in addition to your Chromebook, then you might like to try Reflector 3, which basically turns a PC or Mac into a Chromecast receiver. Then you can cast your Chromebook screen to that computer and easily record video from there. Works pretty well, but you may have to play with the quality settings to find a balance which both looks good and doesn't overburden your Chromebook or network connection. This is a paid program, but pretty affordable at $15. In in summary, if you don't want to spend any money and just need simple recordings, I recommend Loom. If you want better quality recordings or more features, then try Hippo's free or paid versions. If you're happy to pay money and just want something that's really simple, just gonna do the job, then try Screencastify. If you want a feature-rich editor along with your screen recorder, then maybe shell out for Wii Video. And if saving your videos to a PC or Mac sounds useful, then maybe take a look at Reflector 3. If I missed any screen recorders that you like, please let me know. That'd be hella cool to know. And I hope this video has helped you as much as it's gonna help me with making new videos. And on that note, I'll see you in the next one.